and like you know, there's all this like it's a, it's a sort of like a cult. The, the 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 one the one thing I like the, the the most like sort of have you heard of toxic positivity? Not really, no. So it's sort of like when you're trying to be positive, but you know it's not good, but you're trying to like what say like um, we lost. 6 nil to Man City on the opening day mm. you'd have someone turn around and say oh at least it weren't 7 nil." Mm. do you know what I mean like t- stupid positive stupidly and, and it, it can get a bit toxic because it riles people up as well but the, the, the most sort of like non like anti-negative era was Pellegrini's first season we spent a lot of money and, and it weren't a great season but like no one like you, you couldn't say anything bad about it because we spent a lot of money and like it was like oh you can't write them off and blah 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 people don't want to hear the bad side of things sometimes it's like in this window like today this mass meltdown about this Jan- Dan Juma geezer it's like the way I see it I think it, we'll get onto it more but for now I see it as a gamble because he's failed in the Premier League before didn't score or assist mm. With Bournemouth, right? He was yeah, Bournemouth. got relegated, did well in the Championship, did very well at Villarreal. I'm not say, saying he's a bad player, but after what happened with Anderson and Hilaire, with the big money that completely went tits up, you can sort of see why I think it's a risk. But people don't want to hear it because he's like, oh, he's, he's going to take us to the next level. Why, though? I think... I think what I've, jury's, I jury's out until they pull it up, until they perform well. I, I think there. people get caught up with the fee. And the hype. I don't know whether about the hype, because let's be honest, after the people complaining, yeah, this is why I haven't done any transfer videos for a few days. I'll, I'll go into a little bit why, but later why I haven't done any videos on the channel for a few days, but they will be back next week, but I'm going to tell you for, for, for why I haven't done any. But um, <clears throat> in terms of the people that are complaining, half of them don't even know who he is. Exactly. They don't even know who he is. Exactly. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a link to a player who's done relatively well with his club, yeah, who <clears throat> Fabrizio Romano says a few things, saying, oh, we're, you know, we're, you know we're, we're talking to him now. All of a sudden, I, I think just people get hypnotised by the fee, and it ain't always the fee that you've got to look at. It's, I did with Felipe Anderson. I, I, didn't, I didn't know who he was. I was the same with Hilaire. I was the same with Hilaire. I, I didn't. I, I knew a little bit about Felipe Anderson. I knew a little bit about Felipe Anderson, but Halle, I, I didn't know about. But then you start looking into his record. You look, start looking into the fee. You start, look, and you thinking, this is the this is the one. This is the geezer that's going to come in and score twenty five goals a season. This is the one. This is this is the big name signing, the big money signing that we've been waiting for. It doesn't always work out like that. It doesn't always work out like that. And 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 them two are are prime, but they they get hypnotized by the fee. I think we're doing smart business. I think we are doing smart business. I I just want them, what I want them to do this season, yeah, I think Ariola's smart business. Eight million euros for a goalkeeper of that quality, I don't think you can you Five can year deal that. as well. Huh? Five-year deal. Five-year deal, eight million pounds. Sorry, not pounds. It's, I think it's 11 million euros, but eight million pounds. Um, uh, I think, obviously, that the, the jury's going to be out on the defender, Aguirre. The jury's going to be out. He's got to prove himself. Acrid. That's how you pronounce okay. it. All right, acrid. acrid. No, we discussed it last week. That's all about. I forgot. Acrid. I remember that. Well, I'm going to call him Aguirre because that's how he's spelled. Acrid. And I'm, I'm, an, I'm an English ponce. And, um, Brexit nuke. Brexit nuke, yeah. But, you know, the jury's going to be out on him, you know. And I'm seeing people... And, and this, is, this is what I'm saying. Now, in terms of... People are saying, like, it's a Diop. I think there's, there's links to it's a Diop fucking off, Right. <clears throat> which I wouldn't be um, opposed to at mm. all. But people are saying, don't get rid of him, we need depth. Yeah, you need depth in the squad. We've got four, five centre-backs now. We don't need five centre-backs. I would quite happily get rid of that. It's a Diop if it means we can go and get depth elsewhere. We don't need five centre-backs. See, I, I, see, I don't want to get rid of him. I said this last week, but I'm sort of warming towards the idea of him leaving and us getting money for him. Yeah. Because you are right. We don't need five centre back. Although I did say last week, you know, obviously Ogbonna is going to be in his he's signed a one year extension, so he's going to be in the last. But it's a deal that hasn't really done it for me. He's not good. He's not good enough. He's just not done it for me. And yeah, see, um, see, that's my only concern. Is like you said, Ogbonna, because if Ogbonna's knee goes again, 
then we are a little bit short. But then Moyes will have no choice to put a Baptiste or. But we've got we've, we've got there. Ben Johnson that can play now. He's proven it before. We've we've got cover there. That's what I'm mm. saying. There's no point in having. T- Fifteen five. million's good money. Apparently, and that's what Liam. Will yeah, pay I, th- for I think that's I think that's fair money. I think that's fair money for him. I think it's a bit overpriced for him, if I'm honest with you. 